<laughs> Are you regretting letting me have free reign over my career yet? You and Miss Ripley were formidable together, but I don't scare quite that easily. After all, I embraced brass knuckles before either of you were born. That may be the case, but I should still apologize for all that. No need to apologize. I just hope you managed to work some things out and found some of what you were looking for, and the strength to continue the journey. Bang, bang! Ah, jeez, Mick. You pop up out of nowhere, huh? Just like you popped your little buddy Psycho Sally in the face, man, that was brutality. I actually feel kind of bad about that. That's what separates the brutal from the boring, Cap. The only feeling Cactus ever had was wanting to taste his own blood pouring down his own face. We're a little more PG nowadays, so... When Cactus went out there and had a street fight with Triple H, there was no guilt, no fear, nothing but the cold, dead eyes of the man from Truth or Consequences. Damn, yeah, that was good. Great. Now that you've brought the brutality, you think you have that kind of fight in you? To take on Triple H? You leave Triple H to Jack. He's mine. But if you deigned to let me stand by your side back then, I'd sure want you taking care of his partner in crime, even if she's also authority. Would you be down to bring brutality to anyone? You saw what I did to everyone in my path. I have the brutality to grind anyone down. Then I've got just the match for you. Hold on to your hat, because if you think you know brutality, just you wait. Bang, bang! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Ugh! Picture this, Monday Night Raw, early 2000s. You're going up against one of the biggest villains in WWE history from a family of villains that make Genghis Khan look like Mother Teresa. You know what to do. Pull no punches, bar no holes, and if you want to do like old Cactus Jack would do, make good use of every tool at your disposal. Bang, bang.
Here is your winner. You're certainly making waves around here. Are you still spooky? <laughs> Not so much. Cool. I actually wanted to talk to you about your work outside of WWE. You've made some waves yourself. I try to keep busy. How do you manage it all? TV shows, movies, red carpet appearances, all on top of being a WWE superstar? You're making it sound much more glamorous than it is. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of hustle that no one ever sees or jobs that lead to dead ends. And with my schedule, I don't always manage it all. You don't? I gotta say no to a lot of stuff. For instance, they wanted to book me on this food web series and I can't do it because I already committed to a movie premiere on the same night. Would they be interested in booking a different WWE superstar? Specifically one who's me? Actually, they probably would. Want me to set it up? It's a pretty small show, so I doubt it'll be your big break by any means, but it could be a good learning experience. Just try not to let it explode like your experience on the bump. If they'll have me, I'll definitely do it. What's the gig? You've heard of Cheese Please, the internet cheese smelling show. It's doing okay on social media. Hope you like smelling things. Weird, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. So a special thanks for taking this off my plate. Makes it easier to suggest you than just saying no. And a good luck in your match with Zia Lee that's coming up. Don't go stinking up the joint. Here comes the big cheese. It's Cap. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Ew! Telling the difference between a Golden Stilton and a Mimolet still won't help Cap tonight. Never doubt that Corey knows his cheese. Now that she's gotten a taste of fame, we're about to find out if Cap can focus on her match. Zia Lee is not here to make friends. She is here to compete. One of a kind in this division is a vicious, dangerous martial artist and master of wushu. She is more than ready to be the master of the squared circle. And when it comes to Zia Lee in action, and it's her ability to deliver such explosive kicks. You know, really, she's a deceptive powerhouse. Zia Lee is ready for the women's division and the WWE Universe to take notice of her hard work and skill. I don't get it. The captain's been all over the internet because of a cheese smelling show? You're talking about cheese, please. Love that show, and Cap was great on it. Her observations about Cruyere pairings were actually quite astute. Oh, this is cheesy, even for you two. Oh, I had that well scouted. Able to elude it. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. <laughs> what a forearm. Ooh, timely counter by Lee. Left by the turnbuckles. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Exploder! Ooh, 
look at her answering back. Double leg takedown, crushing double stop. Takes down their opponent. Kicked right on the side of the face. A handstand and now using his foot to his advantage. All of running double knees. Up to the top rope now. From the top, double stop. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. Look out! Exploder suplex. Off into the pin. No one kick out. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Distress showing on the face of Xia Lee. Yeah, Lee needs to figure things out. Places are right in the corner. Quick exchange of counters there. Just driven into the mat. This match is wearing her down. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. She comes up empty. Finds a counter for Lee. She's tipping the scales here a bit. She's calling for it. Uh oh. Oh man, into the next breaker. Oh. Glazed eyes on Zion now. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner. Zion Lee walking out of here tonight, defeated. She fought like a warrior, but Zia Lee just couldn't get it done in the end. Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. And... From indie legend to WWE superstar, Cap is always ready for action. Yeah, this isn't some smoke-filled bingo hall, Saxton. It's WWE. If the so-called captain wants to prove herself here, she's got to do it in the ring. Cap is on a mission tonight. Here comes a real menace in the women's division. J.C. Jane. And from Tampa, Florida, J.C. Jane. 
JC is willing to do what's necessary and ready to be savage if she has to. If she has to, she's usually in a hurry to hurt the competition. Jane brings a certain fire to the ring every time she competes. And she has attitude to spare, ready to make her next big statement tonight. Well, if it isn't the internet darling, the captain. Not just the internet, I feel like everyone is talking about her these days. She's got some serious buzz. But all the extra attention means more scrutiny. She's going to want to get a big win tonight and finds a counter. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Forearm to the jaw. Mistake made by Jane. Oh, across the top rope. And now she's looking to go top rope. We're gonna finish it off through the air. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Whoa. Reversal! Can she capitalize? And gets tossed back into the mat. Yes. Keep it up. And this one might be headed ringside. Reversal! Can they go on the attack? Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Watch out! They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? And JC is taking on a lot of offense now. Jane is really having trouble with her defense. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Sidewalk slam! Her back in from ringside. Flat out power here. A stalling counter with a vicious clothesline. Wow, wiping that smug look right off her face. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. Neck breaker! Reigns down an elbow retaliation. Big clothesline. That offense really hitting her heart. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. So precise. Caught the leg. Knee right to the face. Jane giving the WWE Universe a scathing look. Definitely getting a reaction. That unraveled on JC. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal position to be in right now. Lands face first. Clear the deck. Cannonball coming through. Finds the room to land a back elbow. Oh, spinning heel kick. That'd rock anybody. Waiting for their fallen opponent. And a oh, step up, step up. She starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? Shot to the body, now has the arm trapped. Pump handle position. Oh, oh Baron! Can that keep Chasey down? For the win! Two! An emphatic victory! Here is your winner. Yeah. Chasey Jane, enraged by this loss.
JC Jane doesn't handle loss well, but I have no doubt she's already thinking about her next steps. I know you're just here to train, but I gotta ask, what was that about? What are you talking about? Your last match? Seemed like some pretty excessive showboating. Not as concerning as when you went all bad guy on Psycho Sally, or started floating people in the ring, but still, doesn't seem like you. That would be Alfie's doing. This agent who saw the web series and wants to represent me. I told him I'd try a couple things for him in the match so he could try to get me some jobs in Hollywood. <laughs> the web series? You mean that cheese smelling thing you did? Oh, you want me to believe someone saw that and thought you had some sort of potential? Hey, I was great. Sure. What's the vibe on this guy? Does he seem legit, or are we talking cheap-looking suits and rental cars? I've actually never met him in person. Wow. Ugh, oh, you're killing me here. And definitely getting catfished. <sighs> Honestly, you may be right. I've had my suspicions about the guy. But so far, no harm done. I'm focusing on my matches regardless, not some probably fake internet poser. That's why I'm here, right? Training for my match? Just be careful. When whoever it is reveals themselves, I don't want you to get hurt. Don't send him any money. Of course not. Good. Unless his family is in trouble or something and just needs a loan so his aunt can get surgery. Come on. Welcome a superstar who defines tenacious, brave, and driven. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Ew! Ever since she arrived in WWE, we've been wondering who Cap really is. Now I think everyone can see. A natural leader who is earning her colleagues' respect? That seems like a good reputation to have. The captain is ready to call the shots. Well, here comes the girl with the shiniest wizard. A competitor that's shown she possesses tremendous heart from bell to bell. A true inspirational superstar. And from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. Well, Tegan was betrayed by her former best friend, Dakota Kai, in the first ever women's war games match. All that says to me is that Tegan Knox simply isn't a very good best friend. Saxton? Saxton? I deserve my comment. Saxton? Well, feel good story every time Tegan Knox competes. The captain is one of the brightest stars in the company right now. I heard she's generating serious Hollywood attention as of late. Well, Cap needs to make sure not to let all this hype get to her head or she'll quickly find herself on the wrong end of this match. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Solid contact across the chest. Oh, God. Counter. And now there's an open. 
Anthony. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Drop kick hits the mark. A quick finish. Can she do it? And she kicks out right away. Not even close. Look at this. Boom. Nice. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Takes down their opponent. And a nasty heel kick right to the face. She turns it right around with a counter. Spiked. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Forearm right to the jaw. Bruising attack to the stomach. Fez press. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Butterflies the arms and over into a suplex. Kick to the body. Got her where she wants her. Oh, what are they going to do here? Oh, this is going to be nasty. Driver. Believe me when I say you cannot overstate the amount of pain that causes someone. Getting set up for something in the corner. Up on the turnbuckle now. Oh, what are they going to do here? Oh, this is going to be nasty. Avalanche Phantom Driver. She's taking a beating here. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Thankfully, it looks like Cap has abandoned the theatrics of her last match. She's getting down to business with Tegan Knox. Making use of her advantage to climb the ropes. She's ready to finish this. Wait, is that a fan who just hopped the barricade? Looks like that man has some sort of business, but he can't just interrupt the match. Where's security? And that tackle was a fortuitous turn for Tegan Knox. She's taking advantage of the distraction. And that's the match. Whoever that man was, he certainly didn't do cap any favors here tonight. We got to get better security.